Hello, welcome back to the course. In the previous couple of videos, we have discussed a lot about the JPA query methods. And in this video, we are going to continue with the same query methods. Okay, so there are situations we may want to uh, retrieve the employees that contains the keyword. Uh, let's say consider this SQL query. We want to retrieve the employee names that contains the keyword RAM. Okay, so how can we convert this kind of SQL queries into JPA queries? So we can do that easily. There are two different ways. I'll show you both the way. This is going to retrieve the list of employees and we will start with the find by, find by and the field name, which is name. And we will use containing, containing and we will pass the keyword, which is nothing but the value. Okay, so this is going to convert this query or the query method into a SQL query that should look like this. The JPA will behind the scenes, it is going to create an SQL query that should look like this. Okay, there is one more way. We can also use that which is list of employees and find by name. We can use the like operator or the like keyword. And this is going to takes the keyword as a parameter or the value but the difference between these two methods are anytime if you are using the find by name like if you are using a like keyword then you have to wrap your values within the percentage let's say you have to wrap your methods that should look like this percentage and then you need to append the value and then again we do have the percentage okay so you have to wrap your values within the percentage then only this find by uh, name like query will work okay so that's why i don't recommend this method in case if you want you can explore this but i suggest you to use the containing keyword find by name containing this will also serve the same purpose okay so with this change now let's save our changes and now inside our employee service i'll quickly define a method get employees by keyword and we will just pass a single parameter and let's save this inside our service implementation we have to override the method and we just call the repository method return e repository dot find by name containing and we will pass the keyword so let's save this inside our controller i'll quickly create a new handler method and i'll change this to filter by keyword and get employees by keyword let me get rid of this i'll change the employee service the service method to get employees by keyword let me check what is the method that we are having get employees by keyword get employees by keyword all right so with this changes let's save the file and our application should restart and let's quickly switch to the postman and i'll quickly create a new request add a request this will be read employees by keyword read employees by keyword and this will be a get request i will make use of the environment variable which is url slash employees slash filter by keyword and let me verify that filter by keyword yes it is and question mark name is equal to let's say i want to pass the name which is ram and right now there is no records that contains the keyword ram 
let's go ahead and uh, click on this send we should get an empty array and let's me let me go to the read employees let me go to the read employees and when i click on this send we should get a two records not two records three records you can see bharat bharat and bushan okay let's say i want to search for the keyword which is bh okay that contains the two records the 23 and the 24 and if i go to the last request and if i say bh and when i click on the send we should get a two records which contains the keyword bharat not bharat bh okay but if i change this to only b then we should have a uh, three records when i click on the send we should get a three records bharat bharat and bhushan all right awesome so these kind of queries will really helpful when we are doing the search operations anytime in our application most of the times we will use this containing keyword okay again you can also use the like keyword but you have to wrap the values within the percentage symbol all right with this now we have wrap up the section with the query methods and in the next section we will continue with the pagination and sorting I will see you in the next video.